Summers, Wyoming Dutch Oven Cooking. Welcome to our cooking channel today. We're out here on the desert, and my husband and I were thinking about something great for our dessert tonight. We came up with an apple tart, and it is so easy. And you know, of course, we are Dutch oven cooking people. We do everything almost in our Dutch ovens or any kind of our cast iron. But we're doing this today in a 10 inch Dutch oven, and we're going to be doing it over briquettes instead of coals today. And it is very, very simple to do. I've gone ahead and got all my ingredients and I'll be showing you how to put it together here shortly. What I have here and I've got it prepared, just, I just kind of rolled the edges over here just a bit so it'll fit in my 10 inch Dutch oven. But this is a puff pastry that you can buy in the freezing department in your local grocery store. It is, works really great for some simple little dessert. And I have two um, thinly sliced, peeled and cored honey crisp apples, but it's an apple of your choice, whatever you want to do. And I have thinly sliced them, put about a tablespoon, two tablespoons of lemon juice on here and let them sit for a bit. And then I put a half of a cup of brown sugar and one teaspoon of cinnamon. And I toss that all together and I let this sit about five minutes just so that kind of works into your apples. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a layer, single layer on here. And I have this on parchment paper, as you can see, because we're going to bake this on parchment paper in our Dutch oven, and it just really works out slick. I'm going to go ahead and just give these a little bit more of a stir. You know, and you can serve this with ice cream, whipping cream, whatever you'd like to serve it with. Of course, we love it with whipping cream, but we're not doing that today. See, and this is what you do, is just kind of overlap them. And I might have more apples than what I need, but I'll just use those for something else later, or just eat them. You know, we love a little dessert, of course. So I think we all have a sweet tooth. I have a great granddaughter that told her grandmother over the holidays, they were busy baking holiday treats. And she said, you know, Grandma, I have a sweet tooth. And we know she has a sweet tooth. She loves her sweets. Anyway, she came back in later to help her, her grandma with something. And she says, Grandma, you know, I just don't have one sweet tooth. All of my teeth are sweet. We thought that was great. But I do think we all have a sweet tooth. And we're going to be baking this in this 10 inch Dutch oven, like I told you, over briquettes. And it's going to be baked fairly hot. We're going to be doing this at about 425 for about 20, 25 minutes. But we will keep an eye on it because we want your apples cooked, of course. And we want to have the puff pastry nice and golden brown. So my wonderful husband, the cameraman, is kind of in charge of that. And he'll make sure that the temperature is just right. Oh, and this is such a beautiful dessert. You know, you can also do this with peaches. It is great with peaches when the peaches are, you know, coming on and they're wonderful. Now, there'll be a little bit of juice in the bottom here, and I've, if it isn't too much, I'm just going to go ahead and just pour a little bit of that on top. We hope you're enjoying this with us today. We have the most perfect day out here on the desert. Of course, we're camping. That's what our life is all about, is camping. It's about 70 degrees, a little bit of a breeze. Beats back home where it's 40 below and the wind's blowing. Okay, I do have a few apples left over, and I don't think I'm going to put any more on there. Because you don't want to have too much, then your apples won't cook. And of course, we hope you love this. And you subscribe, hit that like button, and we would really love a comment. Give us some feedback on some of the things that we do. We have a lot of recipes out there, a lot of really great, fun recipes. Okay, so now what I'm going to do, which is so easy, we just love cooking with parchment paper. Because a dessert like this could be a little bit messy in the Dutch oven. The apples might ooze out. But I'm just going to lift this up and put this right into my Dutch oven. Look at that. And 
And what I'm going to do is just kind of fold this parchment paper over. Because when we go to put the lid on, you don't want it sticking out. See how easy this is? You know, we do all of our, most of our cooking in Dutch ovens outside. Most of our cooking is done outside because we're always in the mountains camping or out on the desert. But this is a very easy dessert that you can do in your own home if you prefer not to do it outside over a fire or whatever. It bakes very nicely in your in your oven in your home. Our apple tart got done. Cooking in a Dutch oven is a little bit different than cooking in your regular oven in your home because you know, earlier I said 425 for about 20, 25 minutes. Well, in the Dutch oven, it took almost 45 minutes. But we wanted to make sure our apples were done and that puff pastry puffed up. So it's done. We're going to enjoy it. And I'm going to show you how we can lift this out so easily with this parchment paper. Without burning yourself. Look at this. Isn't that absolutely beautiful? Or are we going to enjoy this later? As you can see, look at how beautiful that is. And the apples got done. My goodness. Of course, you know what our motto is. Great food shared with family and friends equals great times. Too bad you're not here to join this. Join us today and have this with us. Of course, we are going to have vanilla bean ice cream on it.